Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays some Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb, non-Platinum God Edition. These subtitles are getting goddamn ridiculous. We're gonna random, we're gonna get Samson, we're probably gonna die, and then restart as soon as possible. Uh, so yes, I am using, uh, again, that weird save that is not mine. We're just doing basically another test video, because I wasn't 100% pleased with the last one that came out. The gameplay was fine. Uh, the video quality was okay in my opinion, but the uh, there was a little, a slight bit of audio desync that required some manual correction, at least the best that I could do. Uh, no, that's probably too much information. Not everybody needed to know that or even really cared, but I'm just saying, you know, we're gonna keep working out the kinks here. Like I said in the last video, it's impossible to do a wide-scale move like this and not have some kind of technical difficulty, basically like a technical hangover. When you arrive, what can I say? I have been getting technical shit-faced for like six weeks here. Shouldn't have let the hangover come at me all at once. Could end up collectively, uh, the uh, collective effects could not end up killing me. Also, apparently on this trip, I lost the ability to speech in speak English. Speech English? Really? Me? Sort of a former English teacher? I mean, teaching English in Korea didn't make me a professional English teacher. I mean, even though I did do it as a profession, it was more like a hobby. My real hobby in Korea was eating kimchi and getting drunk as fuck on soju. But anyway, here we are. We are going to be looking for a... Well, basically whatever we can get. We're going to fight the boss right away. Halo of Flies from the first item room. I'd say that's a pretty solid upgrade. That's a solid, like, 6 out of 10 upgrade. The reason being, uh, it has the potential to be pretty awesome if we get a cube of meat to go along with it. Especially a second level cube of meat. Uh, pretty beneficial here in the early game. We've got enemies that shoot a lot of bullets at us, you know, things like grandfather flies, stuff like that. It'll also give us a little bit of defense. But I still took some damage very, very recently. Uh, I don't know why, it just feels like I'm doing such little damage. Well, I guess Samson's base damage is pretty poor, but he, uh... Or his base rate of fire, at least, is very poor, but he, uh, makes up for it later on. I really need to stop taking damage here. Or I'm gonna find myself in a terrible position. Well, I was really backed into a corner there. You know, when I was a kid I had this Archie comic, oh my god, range upgrades, really? I had this Archie comic anyway, if you're not familiar with Archie, you're probably familiar with Archie. I'm not sure if it's just a North American thing though, or maybe there's a European and, you know, Beyond component as well. Anyway, there's a character in the Archie comics called Jughead, and basically Jughead was a super skinny guy who, who ate a lot of food. That was his, I mean, the Archie comics don't necessarily go deep with the archetypes, but, uh, yeah, that was Jughead in a nutshell, and there's this issue I remember where he, they, I think Archie was like, or Reggie was painting his kitchen or something, and he's like, Jughead, I'll give you five bucks if you paint my kitchen. It was probably like two nickels, because the comic was from like the 60s. Uh, but Jughead's like, sure, I'll do it, and then he paints himself into a corner in the kitchen, and Reggie's like, wow, you're dumb, and then Jughead, you realize, remember, he loves food, he painted himself into a corner with the refrigerator, and then he just starts eating all of Reggie's food, and all I can think of, like, this entire time is like, why doesn't he just, like, take his shoes and socks off and then walk in the paint on his bare feet? And also, who paints their kitchen floor? I guess that's the real question. I'm just realizing that now. I don't know if I've ever heard of the situation of anybody painting their kitchen floor. Tiles? No, that's bad, yes. Uh, tiles, yes. Carpet? Unlikely in a kitchen. It's gonna stain, possibly get burned. Linoleum? Absolutely, a mainstay, but... Paint? What are you painting? Like, stone? I don't know, man. My point still stands. Everyone in that comic is a fucking idiot. And the whole thing about the comics, man, is like, who's Archie gonna pick? This blonde-headed airhead or this brown-haired airhead? I don't know if I'm describing that accurately. It's like, is, Ju is uh, Archie gonna go for Betty or Veronica? Who cares, man? They're in high school. They're just gonna break up after the second year of university anyway. Not speaking from personal experience, by the way. Anyway, we are going to come up here to this item room. I'm going to stop rambling about Archie comics, which stopped being relevant, you know, probably before they even were released, but... <laughs> we got Shoop to Whoop. That's not really an item that I'm too excited to be having right here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to fight our boss. We're going to hope for an HP upgrade. It's going to be pin. Can I... Oh my god, I can't figure out how to shoot the laser effectively. Requires like two hits on the D-pad, or the arrow keys. Which, let's just face it, I'm not capable of multitasking like that. So we're gonna be in this pin fight for a while. I probably could have destroyed him in one laser. Sadly, I missed. Additionally, we are actually not going to get any extra damage from Rage during this fight, because we have nothing else to kill to get damage from Rage. So we might be here forever. 
But what I'm thinking, the reason I didn't go uh, to the shop despite having a plethora of keys right now is because I do only have 10 cents, but I'm thinking, you know, we'll go uh, fight the boss, maybe we'll get Pageant Boy or something, but if we don't, we'll take a look for the secret room. There's only two possible locations. I have two possible bombs. I'm not a math whiz, but I feel like that math works out, and we're going to be able to find a secret room. Secret room is going to allow us to possibly get to 15 cents, possibly buy a better space bar item, or just a better item in general from the shop. We are getting shit luck when it comes to uh, our actual upgrades here. I almost <laughs> walked on the uh, trap there. So we're going to... Uh, before we waste a bomb, we might as well look and see if there's anything... Wow, okay. Yeah, there's useful stuff in here. <laughs> so we definitely want Nun's Habit. Even if we just use that in conjunction with the laser, that's pretty effective. And I want that Spirit Heart as well to make sure that I don't die like very unceremoniously anytime soon. So let's drop a bomb here. Okay, that's going to give us hopefully enough money. It does. So with nine cents now, we will make our way into the shop, buy a spirit heart down to the next floor, and on the next floor, we'll be looking for HP upgrades and something to make Nun's Habit substantially more useful than it is right now with only our uh, Shoop to Whoop. If we can get a Yum Heart, it would work. If we could get a anything that would give us spirit hearts, then it would be fantastic. It would put us in a great position. But remember, in this game, for whatever reason, I, I have no idea how far along this save is, uh, but in this game, we don't even have access to Shoal. We only have access to Mom's Heart. So these are basically just test runs uh, and, you know, mixing it up a little bit. We'll take the red patch as well. Let's see what we've got in here. Ah, uh, that's speed plus range, I believe. Indeed it is. So we'll take that and move on throughout our day here. Uh, I'm gonna save the laser to fight the boss here. These are the first enemies I've fought on this floor. I can't remember. I'm taking some dumb, dumb damage. But we really need some uh, damage upgrades. We need a lot of stuff. What we did not need was a range upgrade in Cat of Nine Tails, but hey. Alright, so there is a d -d 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 tinted rock here. We're gonna try to get these guys with the laser. It sort of worked. It didn't not work, which is more than a, is as much as I could have hoped for, I guess. Oh, yep, yep, that always happens. Let's put a bomb here. Don't move it. I was really hoping that that was going to hit some of them. But the two spirit hearts, great regardless, of course. I don't need to get those right away. Better to not rush, although I did kind of rush it there and got hit. Oh, God, don't let it happen again. <laughs> here we go. Ah, that was really good this time, actually. Now our rage is built up to the point where I can probably kill this guy much more easily. We get the coin purse. This is where things are going to get funny. We have good stuff here. Bad gas. Bad gas, bad gas, and then two mystery pills. Mystery pills are friends till the end. Well, more valuable than bad gas, I guess. And we are going to actually continue to explore the rest of this floor. Because... Who knows, maybe we'll come across a another item or something, maybe we'll come across a judgment, maybe we'll get hit 15 times and get put out of our Samson-based misery here. Samson-based misery, coincidentally, uh, the name of my Christian emo band. Full disclosure, I actually don't know much about the myth of Samson, except for the fact that his power comes from his hair. And I'm not even sure if it's a Christian myth, it might be Greek, I have no idea. My knowledge of this stuff is, is quite poor, I'll admit. Uh, but, you know, his, no his power came from his hair, so that's something that he and I have in common. I seriously cannot kill these guys. I'm firing so slowly. Oh my god, don't. There's, there's just random spiders and grandfather flies. It should be easy. We, we got a key out of it. Super worth it, as you can tell. There we go. So we really need um, better skill. But beyond that, uh, HP upgrades... Seriously, third floor, no HP upgrades, no damage upgrades. Let's just end it. Just take me. End my life, please. Well, maybe we can survive. I don't know. And luckily, that greed head is just gonna st oh, that was close. <laughs> the greed heads are just gonna stand there, apparently, while I deal massive damage to them. So come on, come on. Oh, da da! Okay, that was poor. I don't want to play as Samson. Back to the main menu. Let's play as Kane. I've been doing this a lot lately, but, you know, in my Isaac senescence, old age, uh, I've been, you know, I know what I want, and I want it now. Let's put it that way. So we're already 10 minutes into the game. We're on uh, basement part one. That's making pretty good time, if you ask me. Let's come down through here. 
The good news is, I mean, well, I mean, maybe this isn't good news, but the news is, <laughs> this isn't going to be a long run because really, I mean, that's the reason I don't feel much pressure to go super quickly here, or, like, make sure that my first run is amazing. It's because these runs can't, they have, like, an upper maximum in terms of time because we're only going to mom's heart, which means, you know, what's the maximum these runs could be? Half an hour? Maybe? If I do what I did in the last episode and, like, take ten minutes just fucking around with separate runs? I swear to God, this keyboard is a little bit unresponsive. I feel like I'm certainly not a pro-level Binding of Isaac player. Not that those even exist. However, I almost feel like a StarCraft player or something. I'm playing on this new keyboard and I'm like, the keyboard just doesn't feel right, coach. My APM's lower than usual. At least I can figure out where W, A, S, and D are. So, please get one of these Larry Juniors killed as soon as possible. As soon as possible. There, there, almost one? Nope. Okay. And I don't know why, it, I'm probably attributing this to the wrong cause, but it feels like I've been so underpowered. I doubt that that is this computer's fault, but still. Is it just me or does it seem like I'm going a little bit more slowly here? It's probably just me. Die, please. Oh my god, I'm taking three hits on Larry Jr. Four hits? That was three hits, I think. On Larry Jr., what is wrong with me? Well, there we finally get an HP upgrade. I almost went down to the next floor immediately, which would have been a huge mistake. But in any case, we're going to be fine to move on to the next level eventually. First things first, I got to get my head right. And then we've got to get this item room, which will hopefully be... You know, I was fine with the last run, Polyphemus Quad Shot. That's uh, A-OK -okay in my books. Again, I'm not totally sure what items are and are not unlocked on this file, but this is going to be the last one that I'm going to run on this temporary file, and then I'm going to go with my uh, existing save file, assuming it actually transferred appropriately. Or, you know, transferred properly is the correct way to put that. So I can go back to the Isaac that I know and love, and you likely know and either love or slightly dislike. So we have no bombs with which to blow up that tinted rock. We get speed plus range again. You know what? I'm not going to complain about it because at least it's not just a speed upgrade or just a range upgrade, which, with our luck, has been uh, a lot of the proportion of items that we've been getting so far. So this is going to mark the end of this floor. I would love to get to the uh, da -da -da, Tinted Rock, but I doubt we're going to get a bomb, although it's possible, I suppose. These guys are taking three hits a pop. It's all about momentum, baby. Just learning when and when, when and where to throw these shots in. We get a key, you know what, that's probably more valuable in the long run, although two spirit hearts would have been excellent. Or a spirit heart and a damage upgrade, you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna head down to the next floor. Feeling good about this run so far, let's make it happen. Okay, so we're on cellar two. We do not, we only need one key to access the item room. Or all of the item, oh my god. What is wrong with me right now? I'm telling you, man, it's like if you took insert famous StarCraft 2 player here, hit, was, uh, been out of the StarCraft 2 game for a while. Who's a famous StarCraft 2 player? Uh. Idra? Idra? I D R A? I know. <laughs> That's the best I can do. I've never really been into competitive StarCraft. Again, despite the Korea connection. But. I was gonna say. It's like, yeah, if you put them uh, in a new setup, it's gonna take them a little while to reach their peak effectiveness. And for me, it's similar. It's gonna take me a little while to reach what, what little effectiveness I had in the first place. The thing just feels a little bit more, just feels off right now. But it'll get there, like I said. Oh man, that was not good. Do not die to famine. If I die to famine, I'm gonna starve myself to death in real life. That was an insensitive joke. Famine kills hundreds and thousands of people every year. Probably millions of people every year, actually. I didn't mean to bring you down. Uh, this should not be a difficult fight now. Please drop some spirit hearts or I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I almost got stuck on those rocks and died anyway. What the hell is going on here? Okay, replay. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think it's because I'm getting too into my head. Uh, now, like with negative negativity, I should say. Let's see what we got here. Two of spades, that's gonna be bombs. We're not gonna use it yet, but we're probably gonna use it very soon. In fact, I might use it just to access this treasure chest over here. But the thing is, I, I don't want to use it to access the treasure chest, because what if the treasure chest has like four bombs in it? Then I'd be wasting my time, wouldn't I? Well, let's see what our item room is. Infestation. I'm okay with that. That means uh, every time we get hit, we will produce some flies. It's not a great item, but there's not much we can do about that. Oh, spades is actually keys, and I'm a dumbass. 
So, let's see what we've got in here. we got Steven. All right. Time to turn this bad boy around. We're going to get the little Steven familiar. We're going to do more damage than we would normally do by this point in the game. That's a good hiding spot right there. Again, problem is that I'm not doing so much damage. Always seems like the first boss fights are like some of the hardest ones that you get in the game, simply because you have not enough upgrades to really tackle them as effectively as you might be able to tackle some of the later bosses in the game. But that was a really good opportunity for me to get some shots in on uh, little Steven there. While keeping him trapped against the wall, which is of course what I want to do. Oh, come on. I shouldn't have taken damage there. It's okay though. Come on. Come on. Two more hits. Three more hits. There we go. So we get the damage upgrade. It's actually, I mean, I, I used to think that the damage upgrade was substantially better. I think now they're, you know, they're on par basically. Because the Steven upgrade is awesome as well. But, you know, there was a big period in my Binding of Isaac history where I was basically just like, damage upgrades, I will take those over anything else. That was before the addition of a lot of these tier effects that, that made the game a lot easier without just stacking damage. Uh, you know, Brimstone and Mom's Knife obviously come to mind, but beyond that, uh, you know, things like Quad Shot, Polyphemus, things like that. Uh, before that, it was basically just like, what the only way I could win a run is if I got like six damage upgrades, which was weird because... The pentagram showed up like all the time back then. It was you could basically rely on getting the pentagram as an item drop every single time you played the game. Weird. Hashtag BOI reminiscing. So we're doing much better here, I think, than we, we've done before. Again, you basically consider this almost as if this is not like I mean it is part of the Binding of Isaac series, but it's almost like I'm streaming right now. Just trying to get a test for, you know, working the kinks out. Working the gravy through, if you'll you'll Homer Simpson with me here a little bit. Homer Simpson with me sounds like a great dance that could have existed in like the mid 90s. If the Simpsons. Oh, come on! Excellent! Uh, I was expecting that to blow it up and it actually did. And we're gonna fight Famine again, our arch nemesis here. On the bright side, now we are actually doing uh, enough damage to possibly conquer him without getting killed. Beyond this, we're also gonna wanna watch out for uh, getting hit by these grandfather flies, but that's okay. Nutsack flies, arguably more annoying. Let's stand right here. This should be a perfect opportunity for him to kill both of those dudes. Then I make him go into permanent face state. Opening for permanent curse state at Ozfest this summer. Does Ozfest still exist? Opening for permanent curse state at the Dark Carnival this year. Isn't that the Juggalo event? Nothing against Juggalos, by the way. I probably offended more people by saying nothing against Juggalos than I would have by sticking it to that juggalo trend or thread that I was on. Anyway, we picked up the Bible from a deal with the angel. I don't want it, but we'll take it. It'll give us the ability to fly randomly. Well, not randomly, but whenever we use it. Uh, and beyond that, it could kill mom instantly. And I think it can kill mom's heart instantly. Could be a, an easy cop-out for us, I guess, if we want to try to go fast. Uh, there's probably faster ways to get through, but it's certainly the easiest way to get through, I think. Still looking for the item room here. We do have a shop that we probably have no interest in. So what do I want, do I want now? I would kind of, I'm in the mood for like an old school run. I want to stack damage, I want pentagram. Stigmata would be cool, that's not really old school. But I'm just trying to, struggling to think of damage upgrades here. Meat, I believe, gives you damage up. At least tears up. Jesus juice, again, one of those items that you used to be able to rely on showing up every single run, but now it's actually pretty rare. Remember when Wrath of the Lamb first came out? Jesus Juice was like the only item you could get from the first boss. So we got Charm of the Vampire. It wasn't literally the only item you could get, but it was extremely common. Uh, Charm of the Vampire is not super useful for us right now. It's weird, I feel like, despite Kane's luck foot, my luck is not going so hot right now. But anyway, 20 minutes in, we're going to the Caves Part 1. I'd say this is uh, progress right here. Okay, so please kill one of these guys before the other one catches up. Thank you. Rage would be good right now. I could deal with that because we have solid base damage anyway. Quad shot. Excellent. <laughs> that is also going to speed things up for us and also just make us substantially more powerful. I, I still struggle with quad shot. I should really look it up on the wiki. Is um, Does quad shot multiply... Does it keep the existing damage of your shots and just multiply it so there's four of them? Or does it like have or quarter... The power of your shots do some kind of damage modification to the power of your shots uh, to change it you know what this is worth using the Bible on so we'll pick up a bunch of keys and a bunch of money out of that that was awesome we're gonna be fighting uh, Chubb here 
No bomb. I was gonna say no bombs. Well, now we have a bomb. We're probably gonna try not to use it on Chubb because it's unnecessary. But that's okay. Any bomb is a good bomb, except for a troll bomb. But even oh, sometimes troll bombs are even okay. So I think I lost my whole spirit heart as a result of that. It's all good. Just trying not to get trapped in here. We do have the radioactive spider, so if I end up... Hey, thanks for spirit heart. If I end up uh, getting back into my red hearts, so we can still make it out of that okay. Pageant Boy, again, just picking up some real bad items right now that I am not super proud of. But... Let's see if maybe we can't get the secret room down here. That was a bad use of a bomb. Uh, now we definitely want to go to the shop. Bust open one here. One here. Oh. One. Come on. There and there. Okay. And we got the devil card, which is going to give us extra damage. We're probably not going to use that on this room. Because if all goes well, this room should be easy for us. Again, it would love rage, though. That's the thing. I, I want to like Samson more than I do. I've sucked so bad with him, especially recently. Uh, but I love rage as an item. So I love when bloody lust shows up. It doesn't happen all that often anymore. It used to be all the time. Back in the old days, this is what this episode is starting to sound like to me right now. Back in the elder times, the Binding of Isaac was a cleaner game. Nobody was juicing and Jose Canseco's book hadn't come out yet. What do we have in our shop here? Well, we got a pill, we got some bombs. We'll take the bomb. You know what, we'll even take the pill. Let's see what this does. Beautiful. Tears up. That's beneficial. Uh, hey, we have an antivirus notification coming up here. No thank you. I'm not interested, Avira. Again, with this not being my computer, it's taking me a second here. Or some time. Poison Touch, definitely take that. It's taking me some time here to get this set up in, in just the way I like. And Avira asking for auto-updates is something that I am going to stop from happening as soon as possible. So this should be a fairly easy mob trap room for us. I can't believe we're only on Caves 1. Man, i got to speed this up a little bit. Keep it up here. I need some range upgrades, actually. That's the problem. Maybe that's what Quad Shot does. Modifies your range down a little bit. I would be surprised, but you never know. Sometimes items have weird effects that I wouldn't have considered before. So who do I want to fight? We've already fought a boss on this floor. Who do I want to fight on the next floor? Hey, Pestilence. <laughs> I'm not going to mince words. Or you beat around the bush here. I would most like to fight Pestilence. Yeah, this is worth a bomb. Uh, because it means that we'll get that second cube of meat, get a little bit of extra damage by way of that meat boy familiar. Bob's your uncle, everybody's happy. Except Bob, because you are a shitty nephew. Alright, so we are going to go down to probably Catacombs Part 2, is my guess. How's our run going so far? I really am staggered by the fact that this is like the fifth run I've recorded today, if you count like all the ones where I've died and restarted. Uh, and every single one, I've suffered... A lack of health upgrades. I've, I've had a couple where I've gotten like one or two health upgrades, but certainly not up to my normal frequency. Now that could just be, you know, random chance or probability working itself out. However, seems weird to me. But it's okay, we'll deal with it. Let's so we'll pick up a key here. This will take us to key number four. These guys obviously all have to die if I am to pr proceed. That's kind of how the Binding of Isaac works. I don't know how things work in your sushi castle land over there. Um, yeah, this is for the bomb, I would say. And see what we've got here. Three more cents, four more cents. And an item room, perfect. It's exactly how I wanted this shit to go down, and that's exactly how that shit did go down. I like how if you take a running start, you can fire your shots substantially further. I don't know. I wish I'd saved the bomb now. I don't know how that makes sense, really, but I like that it works. We're going to go with the Unicorn Horn, because the Bible is a cheap way to beat the game, I feel. <laughs> I know that's uh, strong words coming from someone who uses Brimstone and Mom's Knife, like, every single time they get a chance to. However, uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Unicorn Horn is a six-room charge? Let's find out. So we're going to pop it right away. I can't hear the music, and that is going to make me struggle a little bit. That's fine. Um, yes, it is a six-room. Or a four-room. It could still be a four-room charge. Bombs are key. Is that good? E maybe. Because we can actually come down here now. I mean, losing those keys is bad, but we can maybe get more keys down here by way of this tarot card and the uh, bicycle card as well, or playing card, if you will. So let's see what we've got here. The stars, that's... I can't remember. 
Two of spades is keys. Okay, so we're fine there. The stars it takes us to the... We just did this. Moon is secret room, stars is item room. So we've already been to the item room on this floor. Why don't we save that card and use it on the next floor? We'll use the devil card on this floor. Everyone's gonna be okay. And we'll be able to make some good progress here. That's my wishful thinking anyway. I mean, I'm, I'm playing a little bit fast and loose, or, you know, bad, really. <laughs> But the reason I'm not stressing out about it too much, as I've said many, many times now, is we only have to beat Mom's heart. And I can beat Mom's heart with only three health. It's not ideal, but uh, it's certainly doable. So we've got to kill definitely one of these guys. Before we find ourselves in a bad position, and now we're just going to open the door and get the hell out of here. We have enough keys to go to the shop too, which I did not expect to have happen here. Enough keys and, you know, nearly enough money anyway. So we really want to take out something first. Doesn't matter what goes first, I just need some shit off the screen so my brain can focus. Not find itself in a bad position here. Oh, okay, we're good. Still okay here. Uh, what do we have to deal with here? We've got two more of these and an extra bomb for us. Who's our boss? Who's the unlucky? Yeah, Pestilence! That's exactly what I wanted. So we're gonna pop the devil card. Almost take some damage immediately. Quad shot should make it, although my range is apparently super low, quad shot should make it so that I can take out Pestilence and his enemies at the same time and super quickly, which is very important. I'm trapped in the Pestilence prison. Got out, but took a little bit of damage. It took a lot more damage than I expected to, actually. Give us the familiar, please. Thank you. We do get a deal with the devil. I don't have the health necessary to probably take the deal with the devil. What is this... Like a Northern Lion perfect room. Uh, but I really cannot afford to take any of those flying items, sadly. I know you were thinking, I bet he thinks that one is Brimstone. What a dumbass. Obviously, that was Lord of the Pit. I actually did think it was Brimstone for about five seconds, though. Until I got about halfway through that piece of dialogue right there. So, you know, we're both right. <laughs> what can I say? I'm not a clever man. So, we are going to come up here. There's our shop, as well as a curse room. Which I could actually go to, because I, I only have red hearts now. It's like to walk into the curse room and then get hit by a troll bomb, though. Let's hope that that doesn't happen. Hey, we got Guppy's head. Uh, you know what? It's probably a little bit better overall than the unicorn. I'm going to get some health before I go into that room, just in case we end up fighting greed. I mean, it's not... I certainly wouldn't consider Guppy's head to be a good item. Uh, but it's not... I mean, it's not a great item, but it's not... A terrible item either. We're gonna take treasure map so we can find secret rooms more easily. We're gonna take uh, spirit heart so that we can survive perhaps for a couple more floors and then we will just proceed to the right here. We've got a lot of stuff over here but I don't really know what remains for us so we'll see. I'll probably use a key to open this golden chest just because I can really. Um, yeah, when we got more than the keys worth out of it so I'm happy with that and we'll just keep going over here. I guess we got a boss trap room which I cannot go to. We have a secret room as well, which I should go to. Reason, of course, being... Who knows, maybe a little bit of extra money. There was more keys, more spirit hearts, maybe. Actually, I can't remember what was in the shop. There's definitely more keys. And we'll pick this up. Gotta remember to use Guppy's head. And what is our last room down here? Well, we don't know yet. I was hoping there would be something special like a library. Maybe pick up a book of revelations or something. You know, some vintage Northern Lion stuff. But sadly, no. But we got a lot of bombs and a lot of... Ooh, actually, this could be good if we get Poison Touch. Or do we already have Poison Touch? I can't remember what runs we've lived on and what runs we've died on. So you know what? We will use bombs a key. That's basically like we traded a bomb for a key there. Which is fine by me. Bombs are valuable, but keys are usually more useful in these situations. Keep in mind, we only have four more floors left. Oh my god, we have four whole floors left? We've only done four floors! It's been a half hour! Uh, let's see what we have in our shop, because I've forgotten. I'm gonna buy another key. I'm gonna buy this tarot card. Hanged Man. That's not bad, actually. That could allow us to, uh, you know, pick up some stuff that is hidden in the center of the room. We'll see what we've got in our secret room here. Hopefully, like, 15 cents. Six cents? I mean, we could go back and buy a bomb now. Is it worth it? Possibly. Am I gonna do it? Absolutely not. Story of my life. Ryan, why didn't you do your homework? Well, it probably would have been a good idea, but I just didn't. I'm sure many out there who are listening to this right now can relate to this. Perhaps you are listening to this while you procrastinate doing your own homework right now, in which case I would advise you, hey, dingo. I was trying to think of a 
PG-13 insult that I could throw at you. Dongo? Drangus? I'm just throwing out Steve Brulisms now. Do your homework, you Dongus. I'll be here in a second. What is it? 2 plus 2 is 4. It's easy. Okay, so we finish that guy off. I'll get this bomb on my way out. But for now, I'm just looking to explore. I, I got, made my voice all deep and menacing as we're looking to explore the final floor. This is not the final floor. My mistake. Deep menacing voice will be back next time. Okay, flies, please hook me up here. You're circling around me for no... There you go! That was smart. Okay, so we picked up a key, compensating us for the key that we spent to get to greed. And beyond that, we... You know, I think this is a run where we're probably going to find ourselves being successful, unless I have some truly awful rooms on the next few floors. I could also lose it in the womb. Like, this is a... What can I say? I... I just love losing it in the womb. I don't know if that's as sexual as I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, I mean, there's some difficult rooms that you can come across down there. I would love to pick up a compass on the next floor. I think it's unlikely, though. Really, we're just looking for good items from the item room. And again, we're back in the period now where leapers were like the worst enemy in the entire game for me. I think we killed one there. Indeed, we did. Now, if I could actually just get them to... Oh, God damn it. Thank you, flies. So we we don't only have uh, Guppy's paw. Sorry, Guppy's head. We also have Mulligan. I totally forgot about that. So every time we get hit, we're creating flies, too. There's a wooden spoon for us. We didn't really need more speed, but that's okay. We can live with it. I would love to have more flies right now. Let's see, we... Oh, fuck. Oh, I killed him. I can't believe I managed to kill him there. Okay, we gotta do a maneuver like this. That almost worked, we gotta do it again. Hey, okay. Didn't expect me to outwit them there, did you? What do we have here? We got a rosary, which means the Bible's more likely to show up in shops in the future, but beyond that, just a ton of spirit hearts, which is gonna be very valuable for us as we're basically stacking up in preparation for the final uh, bout here. This is probably going to be substantially easier than my average Isaac game. That was poor damage on my part. Oh well. I've got some to spare. Oh, I think you misheard me. I didn't say I've got some to spare. I said I've got some to spare. It's been a really hard time in my life lately. We're going to pick this up. Um, there is a secret room over there. So we're going to go to that. Probably. I do have the bombs necessary, so there's no reason why not to. We've already fought a mini-boss here, so who knows? Maybe we'll get Fetus in a jar or something instead of Greed. The the value of secret rooms operates on a, a wide scale. You know, like an item room, I guess, does as well, but... Secret rooms in particular, man. Could run across Super Greed and get nothing as a result. I guess I unlocked the Common Cold in the basement. <laughs> common Cold, one of the items that was... Um, also, why am I fighting two waves at once here? Uh, three waves at once? No, I think it's just two waves at once. That was bad damage on my part. Um, it was one of the last items I picked up in the game the first time to get Golden God, I think. Oh my god, I've already lost, like, all of the Spirit Hearts from Rosary. Beautiful. I already, I thought I already had that upgrade, by the way. I don't even know why the Common Cold appeared when I got that. Maybe it's, like, getting all the syringes or something. I thought I already got... I don't know what's going on. Now, this should be the last wave here. I feel like this keyboard is making some serious click clacky. Um, okay, so we're just gonna come in through here, blow up the wall to get to the. Oh, I've already been there. That was stupid. But yes, as I was saying, the, there's a very wide variety or widespread in terms of what you can get from a secret room. You can get literally the best item in the game in Fetus in a Jar or Epic Fetus. I would I would classify those as the best items in the game. Also. Probably the most fun as well. How did I get it there? Um, or you could end up fighting like one of the harder mini bosses. So Wheel of Fortune, I don't really want. I want two of hearts because that could end up saving us in the future. Who knows? If I don't beat Mom's heart, this will be a colossal failure on a number of levels. <laughs> but in any case, let's come in through here. But in any case, the Northern Lion story. We're going to pop open this golden chest. What do we get? Uh, six cents. My favorite Haley Joel Osment film after... I wish I hadn't used a bomb there. You guys haven't seen? I wish I hadn't used a bomb there. Oh my god, it's so good. Haley Joel Osment plays uh, someone who 
is like an amateur explosion maker and he gets a little bit carried away like his, his girlfriend he finds out is cheating on him with uh, a fireworks maker so he puts a bomb in his fireworks and the fireworks explode and it like takes off some little kid's arm it's a touching dramedy from the creators of, of Dumb and Dumber and uh, High School High it's really bad Blow up monster at two here. Please do not give me a deal with the devil. Please just give me an HP upgrade. We'll call it a day. Cat of Nine Tails, why are you showing up all the damn time now? Very valid question. Let us head down to the next floor. Come on, give us something good here. So we're on Necropolis. It's gotta be. Um, like, it's not Necropolis. Because when you get Necropolis, it could be Necropolis XL. But I don't think it's possible for it to be Necropolis XL on this floor. Because we already, you know, had the first floor of the depths. I was really hoping we'd fight war or, uh, is it war on this one? Yeah, I guess it would be war on this one. So we picked up the ladder. The ladder allowed us to get a spirit heart. We also bought a key. We still have enough money left to get another item, but sadly there's no more items left to buy because that's, you know, the point. Oh my god, I stood on the spikes. Twice. Well, that was solid. Um, let's on here. Well, I guess it, I wish we got more trinkets because I don't have to worry about the Polaroid figures. Now that I don't have to worry about getting the Polaroid, I don't get any other trinkets to compensate for it. Um, let us not walk on the spikes that time. I don't know why, I feel like I'm moving a little weirdly. It's just not the same. There's some kind of like keyboard acceleration on this wireless keyboard or something. So we'll bust these guys open. This husk has got to go. And... There he goes, and we'll come back up through here. Oh, this is a shitty room. But if we can kill all three of these guys before the other... Ooh, or very near to the time when the other ones start firing, we'll be okay. Now, there's some good diagonal shots in there, as you can see, but really need to hit them with more than just one quarter of our quad shots here. If we're going to make good progress. Uh, I should have gone up, probably, just to see if that was set to be a uh, special room over there. So we got three things firing bombs at us. It's the sequel to that Haley Joel Austin movie I described earlier. Out of respect for you guys, I'm not going to make up another movie. That was bad dodging on my part. I think we might die before we get the Mons Heart here. And that is embarrassing. It's because I don't get any damn HP upgrades. Like, seriously, why are they at such a premium? Someone's been playing with the troll engine on this machine. By the way, thank you to everyone who suggested, like, if I want to do custom runs, downloading uh, a program called the Cheat Engine. I mean, that it's an ominous name, and it sounds like I'm using it to do something, you know, maybe malicious or something, but actually what it allows you to do is uh, play, like, basically make your own Binding of Isaac runs. We have a magnet. Too little, too late. Uh, make your own Binding of Isaac runs uh, by, like, tailoring your items and stuff like that that you get at the very start of the game. So... Something that I'm probably going to look into, because I do want to do some more challenge runs once I settle in over here. Uh, and I realize that a lot of people are saying, hey, the Isaac series is getting a little tired, you know? Same thing over and over and over. To a certain extent, anyway. But, I mean, there is obviously some randomness. It's not like I'm sitting here playing, you know, Donkey Kong Country over and over and over, where every single level happens the same way every single time. But I get what you're saying there. So we got pills that turned us mentally handicapped. Uh, we're going to come through this area. I don't want to stand right here, but somehow that's the safest place. Well, that worked out not as bad as I thought it would. Although we are quite low on everything right now. <laughs> There's good things and bad things. Uh, the bad thing is we only have two hearts. I'm going to be fighting mom, and that could end up with us, you know, just dying. Well, it's more money, more spirit hearts, and I picked up a key as a result of Flat Penny, I think. I can't even get... Is there anything there for me to get? I don't think so. Well, we've already been to everything else on this floor, so I guess we might as well just go crazy on Mom here. It's just gonna be a regular version of Mom. We've got Quad Shot. We've got good damage. It should be an easy enough fight. Just gotta remember to do the crowd control. Take out the harder enemies as they spawn. Let Mom take out some of the harder enemies if her foot comes down at the right time. In the right area. So we're already 50% through this. I don't foresee this being too difficult. And if we get an HP upgrade here, you know, God willing, maybe we'll have a chance to beat Mom's heart. I feel like I'm playing, like, October 2011-style Isaac now. I'm 
been playing this game for a goddamn year. <laughs> Alright, we succeeded. We got the crate. That's basically a health upgrade because we get the spirit heart as a result. What's our pill? Bombs are key. Yeah, we'll use that. Um, Wheel of Fortune, we don't really want. Two of Hearts, we do want. And the, the fork is probably more valuable. Reason being, it's going to give us some lifesteal. Flat Penny is useful, but keys are not as valuable in this version as they are in the... Well, this is the same version, but not as valuable in this machine as they are in a machine where you'd be going through the cathedral or the chest. Because we need those bombs to beat Mom's heart, and we don't need four keys because there's no chest coming for us. Because we do not have a Polaroid. It's a weird, it's a weird uh, dynamic playing through the game on this save again. I, I forget that the game used to be like this at some point. I don't even remember what it takes to unlock the cathedral. You have to, I don't know, uh, this console, or this, not console, this machine might not even have Shoal unlocked on it. Which is crazy. And I, I just, the reason I did these videos was partly as a test and partly to be like, Hey, uh, I disagree with the idea that I should delete my Isaac save file, because I kind of feel like these runs, I'm not going to say they're boring, but there's not a lot of high stakes stuff, like, Killing, unless I actively try to sabotage myself, which to a certain extent is what's happening here. Killing Mom is not all that difficult. I haven't even been using Guppy's paw, or Guppy's head, like, at all. Because I've been focusing on just talking. What can I say? I've been out of the game for a little while. Feels good to be back. Maybe I need some Isaac 101 lessons of my own. But anyway, let's kill these guys. You are dead, and you are also dead. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I've used Guppy's head in a long time. Oh well, uh, that probably would have sped up a lot of rooms for me. I definitely didn't use it on Mom's fight, so it's it's been a while. And we only have two hearts. This actually could get interesting. Oh, that's bad damage. Now we only have one heart. This could be the end, actually. Maybe it's harder to beat Mom's heart than I assume so. Maybe it's harder to beat Mom's heart. Get it? Wordplay, next Shakespeare here. Am I a little right? I think so. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. Nope. Careful, careful. We do have a possible boss room here. It's actually just a curse room, which is probably the worst room I could go into right now. It would actually just kill me if I walked in and tried to walk out. Could walk in and spend the rest of my days surrounded by, you know, troll bombs and spider chests, though. You haven't had, like, amazing chest ahead. You think Guinevere in Dark Souls has an amazing chest? Nah, man. Spider chest. Chest is... Uh, I always found chess one of those difficult English words to say, and I mean English is my first and only language, so it's weird to say that. But it's got like very similar sounding syllables one after the other. Chest is... Uh, spider chests. Try saying it. It, sound, it makes you sound like a dingus. So we're just gonna keep this up here. Should be able to survive this room. If we get hit one more time, it's game over. Which is fine by me. Because it's gonna be game over in, you know, possibly two minutes anyway. Actually, we, we got some life steal, so if we get hit two more times, it's game over. But yeah, we've only got max one floor left anyway. I should probably have not just walked into Larry Jr. there. Didn't know my own speed. If I get killed by Larry Jr. on the wound, that it would be incredibly embarrassing. So please give me some red hearts. At least let me fight the boss on this floor. Ooh, might not happen. The laser's gotta go. Oh, oh my god, I almost drifted right back into it. That would have been awful. Hearts, please? Yeah, okay. We're cooking with gas again. I kind of want to fight, uh, war? Oh, sorry, death. I feel like if I fight death, though, I'll lose. But if I win, level 3 meat boy. So there's a bonus there. I totally forgot, by the way, that I had the two of hearts here. I've, my Isaac awareness has been pretty bad again. It's this new setup. Not Everything's different. Seems like I'm sitting so far away from my monitor. Uh, we're back full. We're gonna use our guppy's head, and we're gonna fight mom. That's not mom. Why did I think I was fighting mom? Why are we fighting a champion version of the bloat? That's substantially worse than what I was expecting. <laughs> I would much rather fight war, or sorry, death again, than the champion version of the worst boss in the game at this area anyway. Okay, we're fine. Just don't get into a position where he can smell your fear. We may actually make it out of this fight alive. Oh my god, the champion version of the blow creates silkworms too? That's just unfair. We can get some diagonal shots in here though. 
scary. At least it doesn't create creep. Because those uh, green... Oh! Should not have stood there. Oh, there we go. He finally got me. I kind of expected to get out of that. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.